Alderman Catalano? Here. Alderman Jacob? Here. Alderman Lazara? Here. Alderman Szymarski? Here. Alderman E. Wesley? Here. Alderman R. Wesley? Okay. Alderman Winger? Here. Alderman Woods? Here. Mayor Police? Here. Quorum present, please stand and join the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'd like a motion to approve the minutes of City Council meeting June 20th, 2013. Make that motion. Second. Any corrections? Questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Communications. Do any citizens wish to be heard on items not listed on the agenda? Okay. I, I have two written communiques. One is uh, Boy Scouts of America, Troop 65. Sincerely thank members of the City Council for the thoughtful financial donation to the Boy Scout Troop. Second, I have a letter here from the Senior Club. Thank you for the luncheon, the senior luncheon. And that takes care of written communiques. Mayor's report, we have uh, one item. Need a motion to approve an ordinance amending Chapter 5, Article 3, Section 5.305 of the Municipal Code of the City of Wooddale to reduce the number of authorized Class B liquor licenses. Do I have a motion? I'll make the motion. Second. Any questions? Roll call. Alderman Catalano? Yes. Alderman Jacob? Yes. Alderman Lazara? Yes. Alderman Szymarski? Yes. Alderman E. Wesley? Yes. Alderman Winger? Yes. Alderman Woods? Yes. Hey, oh, hey, hey. Well, hey. you didn't tell me you came in. I was here for he was here for attendance. For a roll call? Yes. Sure. I never heard you. I put down answer. You got to speak up. Thank you. He's here. But I'm here. Yeah. It is on. <laughs> okay, what's next? Alderman Wesley? Oh, yes. Okay. All right. That concludes my report. Mr. Manager? Uh, two items, Mr. Mayor. Um, we had a public works uh, open house yesterday. Um, it was a very nice uh, event. We had a great number of uh, residents uh, show up. Uh, we broke our attendance mark for that, so hopefully we'll get even more to the open house next year. Um, also, Prairie Fest is uh, around the corner, August 8th through the 11th. I'd like Wooddale residents to keep in mind on that Thursday night, August 8th, we will have a resident appreciation night with uh, some free food vouchers for Wooddale residents, as well as uh, discounted uh, carnival rides for Wooddale residents. That concludes my report. Actually, one other item, National Night Out, August 6th, police National Night Out, Tuesday, August 6th. You got something else to add to the manager's report, Mr. Well, I West? I just want to know if wristbands are available and are we going to put it is the line up on channel six uh we've got uh carnival passes uh pre pre-sale passes are available at city hall and at the park district and you can also buy them uh, online off wooddale.com and all the information is up on the website is it on channel six it there's slides on channel six but you cannot buy passes from channel six it's okay. not interactive okay. gotta go to the website unless you've got an internet tv then maybe you can do it Next, consent agenda. I'll entertain a motion to approve the consent agenda. We have six items on the consent agenda. Do I have a motion? I'll make the motion. Do I have a second? Second. Any uh, corrections? Roll call. Alderman Catalano? Yes. Alderman Jacob? Yes. Alderman Lazara? Yes. Alderman Szymarski? Yes. Alderman E. Wesley? Yes. Alderman R. Wesley? I'm here, Alderman yes. Alderman Winger? Yes. Alderman Woods? Yes. That passes. Next. Need a motion to approve the items on the agenda. Item number one, approval of final pay request to Argonne Electric Company incorporated for the South Wastewater Treatment Plant standby generator installation not to exceed amount of $119,810.50. Item number two, approval of final number five pay request to Plody Construction incorporated for the 2012 Street Improvement Program and not to exceed amount of one hundred twelve thousand six hundred sixty-two dollars and sixty-four cents. 
Item number three, approval of vehicle purchase number 402 and number 403 in the not to exceed amount of $50,304. Item number four, approval of partial pay request number two to Schroeder Asphalt Services for Royal Oak Subdivision Improvements Project in the not to exceed amount of $239,883.08. Item number five, approval of partial pay request number 14 to Maxim Construction Corps for the North Wastewater Treatment Plan Upgrades Phase 1A project and not to exceed amount of $312,325.25. And item number six, a resolution establishing an additional position of maintenance worker one within the City of Wooddale, Department of Public Works, Streets Division. Do I have a motion? I'll make the motion. Second. Any questions? I have, I have one question. Go ahead, Alderman Wesley. The item number six, why do we have to write a new ordinance for that? Mr. Bond. Is that something new? If we had a new position? Six resolution. Revolution. Why do we have to do one? Mr. Bond. Because in the budget, you did not have that uh, position budgeted. So this is a proclamation that that. What uh, happened? Uh, pardon me? But we had a seasonal budget in there, so. But it's a new position. You're, you're essentially creating a new position. Generally, you do the new position at the budget time. So since you're not doing that at the, at the budget time, this is the official proclamation that you are, you as a council are authorizing that, that additional new position. Right. Thank you. Alderman Woods? Just to clarify, we are gonna hire this guy this year, like post haste. Both the manager and the public works director are shaking their head. Yes. Which, in which direction? <laughs> yes, in the yes direction. Thank you. Alderman Wesley, go ahead, you said something. Could we, fair, could we say that the position's going to be filled and the guy's going to be working within the next two months? Mr. Manager, Mr. Uh, Mermis. Per union uh, contract requirements, after you guys officially create the position, then I'll call it a 10-day cooling off or posting period within the union. That's a requirement. Then after that, the two months will be, will be fine. But don't expect anything within 10 days. But the position will be filled within two months. I would assume so, yes. Okay, I'm looking for accountability. Thank you. Roll call, please. Alderman Catalano? Yes. Alderman Jacob? Yes. Alderman Mazzara? Yes. Alderman Sikmarski? Yes. Alderman E. Wesley? Yes. Alderman R. Wesley? Yes. Alderman Winger? Yes. Alderman Woods? Yes. <clears throat> that passes. Next, committee chairman reports planning and zoning Alderman Woods. Uh, planning zoning building committee uh, an ordinance adopting the DuPage County uh, countywide stormwater and floodplain ordinance revised by the County of DuPage effective 423 2013 do I have a motion second, second. second. he made the motion he made the motion you got a second Mike second, second. Oh, I oh, no, you do I have a motion any other oh yeah I'll, I'll motion. Oh. Wait, do I have a motion you have a motion you have a second you're you're the Mike motion Smarsky made the motion Eugene second. second. And Eugene second. Any questions on that? Any questions? Roll call. Alderman Catalano. Yes. Alderman Jacob. Yes. Alderman Lazara. Yes. Alderman Sismarski. Yes. Alderman E. Wesley. Yes. Alderman R. Wesley. Yes. Alderman Winger. Yes. Alderman Woods. Yes. That passes. Um, that's in the airport. Thank you. Public Health and Safety, Alderman Roy Wesley. No report. Thank you. Public Works, Alderman Lazar. Approval of uh, preliminary engineering cost estimate with ComEd for bearing of utility lines in conjunction with the Urban Park Road and Wooddale Road Safety Improvement Project and not to exceed the amount of $30,000. Is that your motion? Do I have a second? Second. second. Alderman Eugene Wesley. All right, so let me make sure I got this one right. So we're going to go ahead and prove the engineering part on this project for $30,000 without letting those businesses know if we don't get all those businesses, we just threw away $30,000, am I correct? Mr. Mermis. Because of the timing of council meetings and the way things are lining up with the project, the idea would be to get council um, approval tonight um, pending we have a survey prepared and ready to go 
we didn't want to send out a survey without the council first saying, oh, yeah, we want to do this. So we will send out the survey. And then if everything goes okay with that, I believe the plan would then be to enter into the, into the contract. Well, then I'm going to vote no for this because the point is, I don't want to make my vote here $30,000 and then we go ahead and get that survey and then staff's making their, just because we approved $30,000. I like to see that first before we go ahead and put $30,000 out there. I mean, they have to take some partials. They have to still do work out there. I, I mean, I just don't, and again, the timing is very sketchy here too. Is ComEd going to be able to complete this before we go under construction? Or is that going to delay the design phase there? I mean, that, that's a question too. Honestly, I understood that these were two separate components. One could be done without the other anyways. Is that correct, Mr. Gallus or Mr. Hogan? Yes, it is. Uh, I think we wanted to avoid sending out a survey if you're uninterested in proceeding. So it's a somewhat of a cart before the horse uh, concept here. So if the guidance tonight is to send out the survey and then work on finalizing an agreement with ComEd, uh, I think we would accept that either guidance, either or. But I think tonight we were looking to let you know we're going to proceed with the survey. Pending the results of the survey, we would then move ahead with uh, an agreement with ComEd. So I think it was a really a two-part, potentially a two-part motion tonight. Mr. Hogan, go ahead. Since our last meeting, there's actually two components to this project moving forward. And I think in the city's best interest, before you spend the 30000 I think there's an issue or discussion of deflecting the cost of $2 million to the residents. And what would that be as far as the payback period? How much would that be as an increase to their bill and so on? And if that amount is not reasonable in this time as far as the economy goes and so on, does it make sense, that's the one part, the cost for the residents <coughs> to absorb that at this time? I have learned from ComEd that the payback period for the cost would be over the duration of the construction period to bury the utilities. And ComEd is estimated to be uh, approximately a four month uh, construction duration. With that being said, with the residential and commercial, we received some information this morning that I still have to kind of figure out as far as what this increase is for the residents and commercial businesses. Um, so the costs deflected to the residents is a component I think personally we need to figure out before we actually move forward with the $30,000 study with ComEd. The other part of this is the easements that Rich Gallus talked about um, I do have a letter and the property owners identified w that ComEd has identified for the 10 foot permanent easement. This letter is ready to go out for their comment to provide input to see if they're in favor of it to give up their easement or not. Because if one property owner does not give up the permanent easement, then the project more than likely would not go forward. So, um, it was my understanding that the agenda, the purpose of why I'm here tonight was to kind of provide clarification before the city approves the $30,000 study with ComEd from a cost perspective, what it would cost the residents and the payback period. And two, the other step would be if the cost was reasonable, then step two would be to send this letter out to those property owners that ComEd needs a permanent easement from and see if they would be in favor of giving up their property for bearing the overhead utilities. If so, the costs work out, the property owners are in favor of the permanent easement, then yes, I think the city would obviously move forward with the $30,000 study with ComEd. So are there any questions? Ms. Alderman Wesley. All right, so that lightened up a lot of questions here. So this right. council is going to sit up here tonight and approve a $30,000 contract to ComEd when we don't know what it's going to cost the residents. And let me ask you this question. In that phase that we are out for design, is that going to be part of, because you have to put that in the design phase then too, am I correct? The, the idea would be the timing of it for the lead time that ComEd needs to 
design and to make sure that they understand the letting of this is scheduled for next spring 2014. So yes, I mean, they are in conflict with the project with some of the widening we're doing at the intersection. So they have to relocate regardless, their poles. Right. Um, whether or not they relocate underground or relocate the poles, they have to do that regardless. But the idea is there is more lead time for the design effort to bury their utilities. So I know that's a concern with the city to make sure that the timing of this to bury their utilities doesn't delay the roadway contractor from doing their work. Okay, and one follow-up, then I'm done. I was gonna defer to the attorney. Oh, go ahead. Mr. Bond. Yeah, what you can do uh, is if the uh, mover and seconder agree, you could amend the motion to add at the end of that after not to exceed $30,000 that said engineering approval is subject to a satisfactory response from the affected property owners and a uh, clarification as to the cost of the project. So in other words, what you'd be doing this evening is approving the, because what you don't want to do is, is have the residents say, we're all on board, and it comes back here and the council votes it down. Now the residents think, well, wait a minute, I signed up for this and now the city's pulling it out from under me. At least this way you've got, if you are, if there's a consensus to go forward, the staff's not going to go forward. It'll be, sub, it'll be restricted in the motion. They can't go forward until such time as the response from the survey comes back and a clarification as to the uh, cost issue. So if, you, if the mover and seconder accept that, you could amend the motion to include that. That would address the concerns of all of Who was the motion? Alderman Woods was the motion. Who was the seconder? Thank you. I was. Do you agree? No, who was second, the, I who made the second. I'll agree. Eugene. Oh, were you this? Oh, I'm sorry. He, he's, he made the motion and uh, Alderman Woods Susan made Marsky. the I changed it. No, wait, wait, it was see. called for the motion. No, I see. called for the motion. No, no, Lazara and Woods. No. Yeah, you were second. That's what I said. You agree also? Yeah. Okay. First and second both agree. Okay. Now so the motion being as amended by the attorney. Okay. Does everybody understand that? Yes. Any other questions, Alderman Wesley? No. Good. Roll call. Alderman Catalano. Yes. Alderman Jacob. Yes. Alderman Lazara. Yes. Alderman Sismarski. Yes. Alderman E. Wesley. Yes. Alderman R. Wesley. Yes. Alderman Winger. Yes. Alderman Woods. Yes. That passes. Next, Alderman Lazar, item number two. Okay, resolution authorizing the execution of an intergovernmental agreement between the City of Wooddale and the Forest Preserve District of DuPage County concerning the conveyance of land. That is my motion. Do I have a second? Second. Mr. Bond. Just as a reminder, this is a, a situation. You've got a bike path that's got some uh, potential um, hazardous conditions on it. Uh, the city worked with the Forest Preserve to try and come up with a resolution to that problem. Uh, and because in order to uh, properly uh, take care of that path, uh, there's a need to go on Forest Preserve property. Uh, we talked about license agreements. We talked about easements. The Forest Preserve pr prefers to simply quit claim or transfer the property to the city. Uh, they've agreed to do that in exchange. The city has agreed that they will accept certain responsibilities for mowing uh, to make sure that the uh, property immediately adjacent to the uh, street is going to be uh, is going to be maintained so the residents aren't calling and complaining uh, mr. Gallus has looked at uh, looked at that and his uh, his staff and crew are, are able to do that my only suggestion is that the motion would be subject to final attorney review and approval we did just get earlier this afternoon uh, we got a copy of the latest uh, uh, language and the exhibit to that agreement so uh, it looks fine to us but just to be give us that little flexibility in case we have a slight tweaking to do all of us there you were first yeah I'll agree agree Alderman Wesley Ray Wesley do you agree to the slight amendment by the attorney attorney's approval attorney's approval how much time it, tomorrow yes. <laughs> it <It'll laughs> simply be it just gives us the, the latitude to do that Alderman Woods you have a question what? As far as the maintenance, what is the scope of the maintenance that we're taking care of? Just the area? Mr. Brown. Uh, yes, and it's really just uh, the mowing, and Mr. Gallus could perhaps uh, address that. But uh, the, the problem, the Forest Preserve simply doesn't want to get calls and have anybody, and they're not currently uh, maintaining it in a golf course type condition. Um, so, it, you know, their position at the Forest Preserve is they'd like everything to go return to a natural state. 
Uh, that's philosophically where they're coming from. So they just prefer it to go there. I think that the residents may uh, take issue with that. So Mr. Gallus has a, a, a mowing plan where he's going to be able to maintain that uh, property. Mr. Gallus? It's about three and a quarter acres along Charmiel is the properties we're really talking about here that we don't already do some form of maintenance on. Thank you. Okay, roll call. Any other questions? I don't. I believe nobody has. Roll call. Go ahead. Alderman Catalano. Yes. Alderman Jacob. Yes. Alderman Lazara. Yes. Alderman Sinkarski. Yes. Alderman E. Wesley. Yes. Alderman R. Wesley. Yes. <clears throat> Alderman Winger. Yes. Alderman Wood. Yes. That passes. That's the end of my report, ma'am. Thank you. Finance Administration, Alderman Sosmarski. We have an ordinance for uh, repealing, oh, I'm sorry, an ordinance repealing ordinance number 0 13 006. Is that your motion? That's my Do motion. Do I have a second? Second. Mr. Bond. Yeah, just on the next three items, just so you know, you had previously taken uh, action on an ordinance on May 16th. This has to do with the, uh, the uh, financing, uh, and this is a loan uh, agreement with the uh, IEPA for the uh, water, water Pollution Control Loan Program for the improvement and construction of the wastewater treatment plant. Uh, they had, after they looked at what was passed, they wanted uh, some there's, it's a it's a never moving target. They wanted to have some additional language in there. So what the first item you've got is repealing that ordinance, including the language that the IEPA has signed off on. And then you've got the next two items are our ordinances. One authorizing the uh, participation in the program. The second uh, item is authorizing the execution of the loan agreement itself. And then once that's approved, then the I, uh, IEPA will actually send. We know the terms of it, but they'll send the actual document to us once uh, we sign off on it. And this is an item that does require uh, approval of the entire corporate authority, so that will include the mayor uh, participation and will be called to vote on that matter. I know, uh, not in this item, but the next two items. Any questions? Roll call. Alderman Catalano? Yes. Alderman Jacob? Yes. Alderman Lazaro? Yes. Alderman Sismarski? Yes. Alderman E. Wesley? Yes. Alderman R. Wesley? Yes. Alderman Winger? Yes. Alderman Woods? Yes. That passes. We have an ordinance authorizing the city of Wooddale to execute a loan pursuant to the to water pollution control loan program for the improvement and construction of the water, wastewater, uh, wastewater treatment plant. With my motion. I'll second that motion. Any questions? Roll call. Alderman Catalano? Yes. Alderman Jacob? Yes. Alderman Lazaro? Yes. Alderman Sismarski? Yes. Alderman E. Wesley? Yes. Alderman R. Wesley? Yes. Alderman Winger? Yes. Alderman Woods? Yes. Mayor Police? Yes. <clears throat> Thirdly, last, I have a resolution authorizing the execution of a loan agreement with the Illinois Inter Inter Environmental Protection Agency and all other documents related to the improvement of the City of Wooddale water sewage system. That's my motion. I'll so, second the motion. Questions? Roll call. Alderman Catalano? Yes. Alderman Jacob? Yes. Alderman Lazaro? Yes. Alderman Sismarski? Yes. Alderman E. Wesley? Yes. Alderman R. Yes. Wesley? Yes. Yes. Alderman Winger? Yes. Alderman Wood? Yes. Ends the report, Mayor. And myself. You've got to call me. Mayor, yeah. Mayor, please. Yes. Ends the report, Mayor. Thank you. We have no items for other business. Approval list of bills, July 4th, 2013, and July 18th, 2013. Alderman Smarsky. We have approval for a list of bills, July 4th, 340. Uh, three hundred forty-four thousand two hundred eighty-three dollars and seventy-eight cents. Do you want them together or separate? Separate. Do them separate. All right. That is my motion. Second. Any questions on the first list of bills? Roll call. Alderman Catalano. Yes. Alderman Jacob. Yes. Alderman Lazaro. Yes. Alderman Sismarski. Yes. Alderman E. Wesley. Yes. Alderman R. Wesley. Yes. Alderman Winger. Yes. Alderman Woods. Yes. That passes. The second list of bills I have July 18th, 2013, for a total of 
223 or 923,485 dollars and 58 cents as my motion. Do I have a second? Second. Okay. Questions? <coughs> Roll call. Alderman Catalano? Yes. Alderman Jacob? Yes. Alderman Lazaro? Yes. Alderman Zimarski? Yes. Alderman E. Wesley? Yes. Alderman R. Wesley? Yes. Alderman Winger? Yes. Alderman Woods? Yes. That passes. <coughs> we have no items to be referred, but we do need executive session, and I'll need a motion to adjourn into executive session. Make I make motion. the motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? We're adjourned.